Hello, in this video I want to show you how you can automatically merge videos using this program. I myself am using Python script and if you're interested in just using the stuff that I'm using, just leave me a comment and I will paste all the code in the description and all the steps you need to do for that. My solution looks like this. I have a lot of videos over here. I select all of them, send them to merge videos. It opens the project and loads all the pro 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 all the videos into the program. It also sets a video and an audio codec which is not basically the point. What is the difference to using it by hand? If you're using it by hand, if you're doing it by hand, you would have to open one video, hit file, append, and then append one video at a time. If you have two or three videos, that's fine. But if you have 50 videos, that's definitely not fine. So how did I do all that stuff that I automated? What I basically use is the built-in function of creating project files. This is one showcase file over here. If we open that file, we can see that it's actually pretty easy to read. I mean, this is not what I create, but this is what the program itself would create if you save a project file. This is basically something like a prefix. Then you load all the videos over here. Here you do some cuttings for the videos, which are actually not important. So if you write your own automated stuff, then you don't need that. This is also not important. This is also just referring to cutting stuff but won't change the video also you can set a video codec over here and an audio codec over here but to make things simpler we just assume that this is one block that you will not just touch so what i basically did like i said i'm creating my my script is creating a file that simply adds this stuff to a file all the videos that were selected and this stuff and then it runs the program and says please load this project file. And to make the usage very comfortable, I use the Windows built-in send to function, which is pretty easily reached through C users, your username, app data, roaming, Microsoft Windows, and then send to. And then you can just create a shortcut over here. I myself am using Python, so my shortcut is just uh, Python with my Python script name. Just one hint over here, don't use python.exe, exe, but instead use python w, because this will not create the annoying uh, command line dialog. Another hint, if you want to do that things on your own, you can, if you want to run RV, the program, I don't know how to pronounce it, pronounce it. If you want to run project files, then you just add the command line option run and your project file. In case you also want to save it automatically, you can just put the option save and your file name over here. In my case, I actually does, do not use it. And if you want to do even more crazy stuff, like automatically change the brightness of a video or something like that, you just simply add a filter on your own and do whatever, I don't know, hell. And then just save your project file and then look what changed if you compare it to another project file. Yeah, well, and uh, that's basically it. Like I said, if you're interested in the way I did it or in my code, just leave me a comment and I will put everything in the description. Also, see the description if you watch this video because any updates will be in the description. Thanks for watching.